Hey guys, I've got something really, really cool today. I've got a Miniware MDPXP power system and honestly, it's pretty cool. Now, initially when I requested it, I wasn't 100% sure what it is. Mostly that was my fault because I read a couple of lines of descriptions and I knew I wanted it. Up until now, I was using Tenma bench power supply and it is quite big and it is taking space on my desk and as you probably know the desk space is always at a premium. Having a chance to try something that is 20th of this size and basically has a similar capability was definitely up my street. Add to the fact that you can use this module with your USB power supply then you got yourself a really small power supply to deliver power to your projects. Sounds awesome, right? But that's not all. Once I realized what this unit is all about, I got even more excited because it's seriously awesome. First thing, it's module. Even though I only have a one module on my hands and you can only buy one module for now, there are more units or modules in development. Basically, what you get are digital, uh, smart digital monitor and the digital power supply. You can get the digital power supply separately and use it on your own, but if you have a smart digital monitor, your experience is about to get much better. This system allows you to take one of these, which is the control unit, and stack up to six different modules. And those modules include the, obviously the digital power supply, but there is also a portable battery in development, which allows you to use your power supply on the go. There will be a charger, which you could use to power your, I don't know, TSATP soldering iron. It's gonna be electronic load, a function generator, and improve power supply that's going to be able to get up to 300 watts of power to your electronics projects. All of that is currently in the development and I got a recent update from Miniware outlining the status of each module. But that's not the only cool thing. All the modules, despite being stackable, they actually talk to each other or talk to the control center via wireless connectivity. And yes, that means you can take your head unit, place it elsewhere and still have a control wirelessly over what your power supply is doing. Just as long as you don't mind this range being within a two to three meters. The range is slightly disappointing, but having the ability to actually have that power supply elsewhere or have multiple power supplies because you can uh, support up to six different channels and control all of them from a remote or single location. It's very handy if you have a very complicated project in mind. I don't think I would ever use this in my scenarios. However, having this, well, I can't deny it. It's just cool. And before I start comparing this unit with my bench power supply, let's take a look at the individual units and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. First, let's take a look at the digital power supply MDP P905. You will quickly recognize the very familiar display, which is also present on other miniware devices like TS ATP soldering iron or mini hot plate that I reviewed earlier. To use the user interface, you'll find three buttons and a rotary encoder, which is quite handy to select different voltages and current ratings. Holding down set while you scroll the encoder speeds up selecting the values and using that without the set button allows you to get more granule and select exact values that you desire. If you press set and menu together, you'll access a editable preset menu. That menu can be edited as a text file via computer. So if you want to have a different values for voltages and current, then do it on the computer, upload the file, and you'll see your, your selection available in a device display. Lastly, there is a menu button that allows you to access different menu sections on your display. Another cool add-on is the fact that the outputs on the device have LEDs that light up when the app outputs are active. It's a very handy feature and I wish more other manufacturers would do it the same. At the back, you'll find a USB Type-C, which is unfortunately not USB Type-C PD compatible. You have to use quick charge or normal USB charger and the DC barrel jack input if you want to drive this unit from a well, DC jack. On the other side, there is a headphone alike connector, which uh, is being used to supply power only to the head unit. It's very handy. And there is an included cable in a head unit uh, case uh, for you to connect it. The control unit is powered by micro USB. I'm a little bit upset it's not USB Type-C, but well, it is what it is. 
You'll notice a big screen that is being used to select different menus and operate different channels. Apart from that, you'll also display the graph of your power curve usage, so you'll be able to monitor the voltage and the current use of whatever device is connected to each channel. It's very handy, especially that you can change the timecode and see what is actually happening. It might not be as good as uh, connecting oscilloscope, but it's definitely handy to understand what is your power delivery system right now doing and try to troubleshoot it this way. A big benefit is that uh, everything speaks to each other wirelessly, so you'll be able to move that aside to a more convenient location and still change the values either on the go or preset it. You can select that which channel you want to operate and that way uh, you'll be able to control multiple uh, power delivery units across your stack. The included buttons are pretty much self-explanatory, but there are a couple of hidden functions as well. If you hold down a C button, which is labeled as hold, it will zoom in into the graph to give you a little bit better resolution instead of going and watching the 0 to 30 scale. If you press down and hold E button, it will take a screenshot and save that screenshot on included drive. In development, there is also a different firmware that will let you log whatever is happening on your power supply. So that way you can just uh, look into the logs and try to figure out what is going wrong in your project. And since this is a mini wear product, you can also customize it to your liking. Hidden in a menu is the ability to change the color of the um, scroll wheel, probably the most important function ever. And you'll be able to tweak your firmware and even upload a different boot screen. Now that you know everything about this design, let's put it on the bench and see how much noise it gives versus the not so expensive power supply I've got on my bench. To figure out if this power supply is actually any good, I decided to use oscilloscope, which also received from Miniware, because, hey, I've got some tools, why not to use it? So I've set the voltage to 5 volts, which is the most common voltage I'm working with, and the load has been set to half amp. After hooking up with oscilloscope, I could see a little bit of ripple there associated with digital power supplies and a little bit of noise. I've listed the RMS and peak-to-peak -peak voltages on the screen. With the same settings, I've changed the power supply to my 10 map bench power supply and I've hooked it up again and enabled it with the same load. And as you can see, the ripple effect was smaller um, because it's a linear power supply, it's not a digital one, but the noise levels were pretty much similar. So in my case, I could easily replace and the bench power supply, which much smaller, miniware, without actually using on the quality of the power supplying to my uh, projects. I mean, don't get me wrong, I only do basic electronics and it's going to be more than enough that I ever need, so saving up a space and having an ability to power it from the USB charger, it's already a massive plus. So is it better than the regular power supply that you might have at home bench? Well, it depends on your projects. I've paid around $70 to $80 for my power supply and miniware power system costs you about $130 to $150 which when you think about it, isn't actually that big of a difference comparing to what you're actually getting. I'm for once super happy because I can remove my big power supply and take it to a garage where I will be using probably in there, but I can keep my desk clean, tidy, like that's ever gonna happen, and enjoy my new toy. So if you're interested, I've included the links in the description of this video so you could check it out for yourself. And I'm honestly looking forward to upgrade that module, which is going to be able to deliver up to 300 watts with USB Type-C PD support, and the other modules that will change this small unit into a pretty robust power system. So big thanks to Miniware for hooking me up with this, and maybe in the future if I'm going to receive some new modules, I'll copy them as well. As for now guys, you know I do not have a posting schedule, you know how YouTube works and all of that stuff, so I'm not going to remind you of the YouTube is did that already. What I'm going to say is that YouTube recently filters out pretty much every second comment, so if you want to engage in a conversation, then the list of social media, follow me in there and uh, start a conversation via social media and let me know what you think. As for now guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.